Okay, that's cool. Um, and you guys did get to the rally, to the convention in Adelaide. Jan, have you got some highlights for us? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, really enjoyed the ministry. Uh, it was very encouraging. I just jotted some things down. Um, just all that ministry, um, just all about getting out there and spreading the gospel. Um, and it was great to the work that's going on worldwide, everywhere, and getting those reports back. I, I really enjoyed hearing that. Um, I, I, what I really liked was like a big school reunion, like <laughs> you'd rock up there and all these faces that you've known over the, well, the 40 years that we've been going along and you just see those familiar faces near, like every time there's convention, it's like a big block of school reunion. And that, that I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. And just having lots of conversations, as many as you could have in the time frames that we had. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed the uh, the nights of the round table, as I called it. It was like these big round tables, this massive area, and all the brothers and sisters all were at tables and everyone was sharing their testimonies and that they inspired me like yeah what people were sharing um it was a blessing to go and see sister victoria who our sister over in uh, yeah i can Nevada. see her on um, she on screen tonight yeah, as well. she, so yeah. I can see her there hey, bed comfortably yeah uh, that's good but it was great um visiting her in hospital and uh the convention really stirred me inside because uh, when I was getting in an Uber taxi to go see Victoria, I witnessed to the Uber driver there and then witnessed to the other one coming back and that, like, just the boldness and it was definitely the flow on from the um, the convention for sure, yeah. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Why why do you think it's uh, it's important to make the effort to get to rallies and conventions as much as you can? I reckon it's very important um, because it helps you grow in your walk in the Lord. Um, you learn so much from each other um, and you get to hear so many testimonies, which it's those testimonies that really help you in your own life's challenges. Um, and, yeah, I, that part of it, uh, the unity that's there, uh, the, the one mind, one accord uh, amongst the brothers and sisters, uh, that we just inspire each other and we learn from each other, we help each other, um, we teach each other, all those things, like, yeah, you can gain from there. Um, and amazing long-life friendships. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, like when you do go out travelling around and you go and visit those other assemblies or you go overseas, like all the people that you've met, it's just lovely when you, you know, to spend time, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Now, both of you have been involved with the work in Vanuatu for a number of years. Paulie, just quickly, when did that start? Um, the, the work in Vanuatu started in 2002 and slash three when the first lot of people went. Um, Jenny and I first started going in 2004. Um, we've, we've seen some marvellous stuff over the last 20 years. So yeah, and look, the, obviously the last couple of years, COVID put a bit of a, a stop to the trips, um, but you have had the opportunity to go back fairly recently. Yeah. And you've also got a big trip that's coming up next month. Do you mm -hmm. want to tell us a little bit about that, what you've got planned? Yeah, um, okay, yeah. So we've been, Jenny and I have been three times uh, post-COVID. Um, um, yeah, just before I answer that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who puts in the Mission Fund. Um, we really appreciate your generosity and it's really going to a good work. And as I said at, down at the rally uh, convention, uh, we see firsthand where all your hard-earned tithes go. And it's, it's just been a marvellous blessing for the saints in Vanuatu and just seeing precious souls saved, you know. There's over 700 people on the island of Tanner alone that have come to the Lord and... Um, 
and the fellowships are just growing over there and it's it's really exciting to be involved in the work so yes we leave on monday we've got a team of uh, 42 people coming um we're going to the island of santo and the saints over there have been cleaning up the hall they've been building shelters for us it's it's going to be a really big deal because a lot of saints are coming from all the other islands they're all traveling to santo um and we're just going to have we're going to be doing a lot of outreaching in the markets so we've got uh, a lot of musicians coming this time which is going to be fantastic some uh, musicians from queensland from adelaide from sydney sydney and um and of course from gosford as well so we're just really looking forward to this trip and we're ready to go pastor andrew and i have been um constantly talking to pastor bob and pastor willie over there and we're pretty much ready to go and it's really exciting because we don't know where we're going to end up we could end up in a village on the other side of the island and praying for people laying hands on people and they're so they accept the word so easily and so it's a really good um time for us to sharpen our tools pretty much and get a really good boost and then come back and get into the things in our local assembly again yeah that's awesome man and for us that can't join you it's really great to share in the blessing when you're back to hear all about it i know you're leaving monday but are there any spots Yes, there, listen, there, there's still plenty of room. We've almost booked out the whole resort. And um, there's, I got an email from the, um, the new manager. There's a new manager there, and it's just such a blessing. I went and visited him um, on the trip uh, about three or four weeks ago when we were over there. Um, and he is keeping the same price that we used to pay five years ago. He's keeping the the same price for us so it's a real blessing it's very cheap it's a lovely resort to stay in and yeah there is plenty of room if you want to come along you won't be disappointed we are gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun and um there's um a lot of new people coming this trip um and a few of the old um travelers are coming with us as well so we've got a good mix that sounds great man all right. Well, thank you, Saints. It was nice to catch up with you too. And um, God bless on your trip and look forward to hearing all about it. Maybe at the next Wednesday United, we'll get a bit of an update to see how things went. It should be right to sing then, Dan. Thanks. All right. Good on you, mate. No worries. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Jen. Thank you.